Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Los Chevalier, and you're welcome to Citizen Sleeper. I have no idea how this game plays out. I, I, it's just for, it's for fellow travelers, so it, it should be good. Oh. How am I supposed to choose a character class? Operator. An operation work with drones and high precision remote machines to perform complex tasks from a distance. The sleepers assigned to operator works are usually cerebral and precise people. Transfer. Chance to gain Creo on interface actions. Okay, what else do we have? Extractor. Extractor work on resource extractor, often in hard by human environments. Sleeper assignment to extractor works are often confident, self sufficient, and have a high level of endurance. There is another one though. Machinist. A machinist repairs and modifies automatic systems using an industrial resource tractor. Sleepers assigned to machinists work and are used on diligent, careful, and structured people. Skills and engineer. Um, I actually like this one a lot more. The design is beautiful. So we are minus one endure plus one interface. Let's start the game with this one. The first thing you become aware of on waking is the disconnect, the delay between thinking and feeling, between wanting to act and acting, minor, almost imperceptible, but always present. It's at its worst when, walk, when walking, when waking, when yourself has to spend dark hours recalling what it feels like to be real, to be a person, to be in a body that was indisputably yours. Think of that body. A leap into a cold lake on a hot day, the, sing the sting of blood welling from the f a fresh wound, the friction of a fingertip. All of a sudden, the memories are, are closer than you thought, blurring as you approach until you can't tell one from another. The cold slips in, behind and around you, and the sensation fades out of reach. Perhaps you should be thankful for the dulled nature of this new body, giving you current circumstances. The walls of the container feel immediately present, cold, hard, hard, at you, at your back and face, cramping your limbs. You resist the desire to stretch, knowing that the claustrophobia comes next, and retreat a little from your central nervous system. It isn't painful, not like you used to know pain at least. In emergency mode, pain is a message delivered with efficient and ease, a reminder that harm is imminent. There is no insistent throb, no trembling nerves, just a warming in delivery with the banal quality of a digital notification. Right now, there are thousands of them. Remember the plan, remember the others. You remember there were ten of you, ten that could no longer stand the indentured, the indentured work, the routines, the slow decay. Ten whose belief in their poor Mrs. future was slowly dismantled day by day, until they realized they had sold away everything that could and would ever matter. Ten that will escape, or at least die trying. Some were lost in the shaft, others never found the meeting point. Only a few made it to the containers. But the frighter, as far as you know, left. That feeling like like an that feels like enough. Enough to know that you might no longer be on that green, unheardless rock. Even if in the earliest hold of a freighter, you might freeze solid long before you reach any destination. Try to rest. But you are restless. It has been a long time since you left. Surely weeks, maybe months. You are duly aware of damage to your legs, your right arm. You have been reserving energy as much as possible, but even then your body has shut many of its systems down to protect you. You have spent much of that time asleep, knowing that anything else will be impossible to endure. You feel the weight of that impossibility begin to gather. It is time to sleep again, to nudge this false body into inducing beta waves, delta waves in your emulated mind, and once again, recalling to a dream of when you were once a person. 
rest. Time pass. The call creeps further in. You feel something. Warmth. Not true warmth, but the indication of its presence. Your joints release from their rigor. Sounds sound too. Everywhere. Screeching and shimmering so loud that your body ducks your hearing to protect its sensors. Then light, white as the cold. Then softer and softer, until in a haze of dirty yellow a figure appears. You are out. Dragos. It has been a few hours since Dragos pulled you from the, from the container. What the hell is this? Is a mosquito or a spider? Sorry. You sit huddling in a corner of his scrap scrapyard. Swaddled in the reflective folds of a miller blanket, you are slowly coming back to consciousness, back to life, and you stare at the ornamentally curving element of an improvised heater. You are surrounded by angular, incoherent lumps of ships, some corroded beyond recognition, others still car carrying glassy wounds along their edges where a plasma arc slices them apart. As you trace their shapes with forged eyes, you hear a voice. Sorry, Sleeper. You all to out yet? Almost. Never seen one of you coming like this. New frames must have been better preserved in soft zero vacuum. Seems more than a few of you froze solid to hold plates or inside other locks in my time. They weren't so lucky. Dragos come into focus, shrouded in makeshift tech. His headset with its glinting eyes, the mark of a drone operator. On its shoulder, one of his symbiotically linked drones perches, its irisine eye looking, locking you with an unflinching stare. Look at this beautiful thing. Last living sleeping that came through this jar was a while ago. They didn't last long. You struggle to read his expression beneath the tech, but he seems lost in memory for a moment. Or perhaps he's just figuring out what to do with you. I plan to survive. You aren't sure if he hears you. I wonder what led to you to do it. You, to sell yourself to a corporation. And I suppose you know you can't go back. Your old body, that's theirs now. And you are just software. A rogue emulation illegally possessing corporate property. You nod along. You remember biometrically signs the forms, the cold floor on your feet as you paddle it to the sleeper cells. The promise of a life of world. But as you do, you get to know the now familiar sensation that these aren't your memories. These are things you know, and not things you feel. You are no longer that person. You are an offshot, a copy. What you won't know is what's ahead. At least the last the last one didn't. There is no easy way to put it. That body of yours is falling apart. It's the same for any sleeper who made it out. SN Arp wants to protect their property, but if they can't keep hold of you, well, then no one can. You remember that too, or at least rumors of it from the other sleepers. Planet Obsolescence, a world independence to the regular administrative supplements that were part of your routine. Stop taking them and your body begins to shut down, separate from your emulated mind. How long has it been? How long do you have? But for now, Sleeper, you are one of the lucky ones. Dragon glances up and away, towards the glassy dome of the yard. The eye is the best place you could, you could be right now. The eye? The station. You will see it soon enough. Dragon impatiently shifts his weight. Look, I got things to be, to be getting on with. He trails off. There is an old freighter container I have been using as storage out, of the, out in the stacks. We haven't been pulling in much value scrap these days, so you are welcome to it. Continue. Someone, something wells up inside of you. Emotion. Fatigue. You shakily get your, to your feet. Not. Alright, you head on up there. You look like you need some rest. And with that, Rago stalks back into the wrecks. His drone's already covering on a rusting hulk. Plasma flashes silu silhouetting his spingly figure as he returns to work. To turn into it. Welcome to Erlin's Eye. Life on air on the eye runs in cycles, during which you can talk to characters, explore areas of the station and perform actions. 
At the end of each cycle, you need to head to your current home to rest. Resting will move time forward on the station. Head to the empty container location to rest and end the cycle now. Empty container. All cycle needs to end. Rest and prepare for the next one. You wake curl up in a corner of the container and begin slowly assembling the world around you. After all this time, you still find this body, the one you wake in now, strange and disjointed. It's message readable, but somewhat, somehow wrong. You sit up, pulling the Miller blanket close against the cold. Here you are, on this ruined station, millions of miles from anyone you know. Are you still in the system? Did any of the others make it out? It's impossible to know. After all this, what matters? Well then, life. Maybe you did get lucky, finding yourself here. Maybe here, on the edge of everything, there is a life for you to, to build. But before you can build anything, you will need to learn to survive. Maybe you can do that, you can make a life for yourself. Dragos has left a few comforts in the container. The Miller blanket, the bedroll you slip on, a canister of water, a makeshift electric stove, and some faded sachets of some desiccated powder. You thumb the powder stub on the stove and begin to boil the water. The contents of the sachet smell like damp wood and you sprite them into the liquid. As the pungent smell wash over you, Im images of your redless sleep comes back at you. A ring, like the station, but skeleton and ghostly, a web of threads pulling at your skin, a constellation of ragged polygonal shapes, like angular suns, burning into your mind. There is something unpleasant viscerally about these images, and it's a, lo it's a long after you finish drinking that they begin to fade. You tidy away the stove as best as you can, and try to gather enough energy to greet the day. Okay. To turn a condition, action, dice, and energy. Condition. Your condition represents the current state of your artificial body. It depletes by one segment each cycle. You can also be damaged by violence, injury, or lack of food. If your condition bar empties, you will suffer a breakdown. You will have to figure out how to recover your condition, now that you no longer have access to corporate pharmaceuticals that were keeping you alive. Action dice. At the start of each cycle, you roll your action dice. These dice can be used to perform actions on the station. The numbers of dice rolled is based on your current condition. The worse your condition, the fewer dice you have. Once you have used your dice, you cannot take any further actions and must rest to recover them, ending the current cycle. Energy. You also need to eat to survive. This is represented by your energy bar. You can refill your energy bar by eating, but first you will have to find some somewhere to get food and currency to buy it. Your Energy depletes by two segments each cycle. If it becomes empty, you will be starving, and your condition will repeat at a double rate per cycle. Okay. Interesting. So I have one, a five, a two, and a four. I have two energy bars, and I have five, five, three? A lot. Okay, let us leave. But I think this is all the time I have for an episode. Drago stood in the corridor when you close up the container. He's still wearing his headset, and in the harsh light of the corridor you realize it is implanted. A drone sits on his shoulder, its cache of sensorite rapidly irising. How are you feeling? Okay. The drone chirps. Good to hear. You notice that beneath the operated rig his skin is marked by burns and blotches. I know the container isn't much, but it will keep you safe. He pauses. So, I'm not going to chit chat too long. You will know you well enough to work? Sure. Alright then, he nods. At the yard, it's simple stuff. We back these old hulls down, sell them off to the shipyards, or then bring market dealers for cryo. Occasionally, we pull out some tech. Something with a bit more value, but most of what, is com what comes is scrap. It's hard to find good hands here, but I figure it's, as a sleeper, you will be used to the manual labor. And obviously, I will slip you a few cheats of, com of commission based on what you turn up. Got it. Cheats? 
This, he pulls out a handful of small metal bombs. Air oil cry though, isolated from the market, is what we use to trade out here. He stuffs them back into a, in a pocket. He shuffles his feet nervously. Look, I wouldn't usually do this. In my opinion, you'd be best to be moving on as quick as you can. And sleepers, well, he trails off. But things being the way they, they are for me at the yard, he passes, I need the help. Happy to? Okay, he pauses, thinking of something else to add. Look, just come down to the yard when you are feeling fresher. There is plenty to do. Will do. He knows this tractoring and turns and walks away, the drone hopping along ahead of him. See you later, he comes back. Looks like it's time to get to work. Oh, ooh, oh, okay. So this is the ring. What else there is? Lower grade, passing to the lower. Oh, there is even more. Okay, but we are in this area now. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. But this is all the time I have for today. I I, this is all the time I have today. I, I have a, a meeting to attend to. So, this game looks amazing. I'm, I'm eager to play it. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the time I have for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you had a blast. I was the Lost Chevalier, signing out. Bye-bye.